feel when you start going down, the first thing you're gonna feel actually is the pressure in your ears. Okay. So what you're gonna do, you can put up your mask right now and hold it right there. I am the ocean's greatest fright. Feared for my strength, my speed and might. Millions of years I have stood tall. I am the one to rule them all. Carcharodon carcarius, the great white shark. A name that needs no further explanation. A synonym for fascination, intrigue, fear. Being more than 400 million years old, this large mackerel shark can be found around the world in all coastal and offshore waters with temperatures between 12 and 24 degrees Celsius. And yet, one particular place stands out. Far off the coast of Mexico, an ancient volcanic island rises from the deep waters of the Pacific. A barren and rocky landscape with deep trenches and steep cliffs. This is the island of Guadalupe. Home to an abundance of elephant seals, California sea lions and Guadalupe fur seals, this mysterious island has become the best place in the world to observe great white sharks. The main reason for this is its crystal clear and calm waters, but even more so the great numbers of sharks which can be seen here between the month of June through December. Guadalupe fur seals and elephant seals were almost wiped out by irresponsible human hunting practices in the 19th century. But they rebounded to healthy sized populations from tiny groups of survivors. Great whites can reach lengths of more than 20 feet and can weigh in excess of 5,000 pounds. They have been tracked in depth deeper than 4,000 feet beneath the ocean's surface. Mighty numbers for a mighty animal. And yet, seeing them, especially for the first time, in their natural habitat has provoked a realization that almost every single person Nautilus Liverboard ever had on board during those expeditions. And the realization is that this animal has been greatly misunderstood and misjudged for the longest time. That it has been falsely depicted as an evil and cold-blooded killing machine of humans. Nothing could be further from the truth. For the majority of their time, great white sharks move slowly and calmly through the water. They almost never show any aggression towards divers in the cages. They just do what great whites do. They all have unique personalities, which you grow very accustomed to after you have spent some time with them. As your fear for the animal diminishes, your understanding and respect for it grows at the same time. This newly gained understanding effectively helps to improve the overall image of this amazing and powerful apex predator. After you have completed a great wide trip aboard one of our vessels, you will certainly see those animals with different eyes. That is not to say they should be taken lightly. When they do strike, they do it with an astonishing explosiveness, which makes it clear that you don't want to stay in their way when they are in hunting mode. The white underside and greyish topside of their bodies produce a surprisingly efficient camouflage effect 
when looking at them from below or above respectively. Another reason why they have become such successful hunters. Looking a great white shark directly in its eye will deeply touch every person. In fact, its eyes are not entirely black, as they are often described, but also show traces of blue. The magnitude of an encounter with a famous great white shark is something which is hard to describe, but one thing we know as a fact. It will change the way you see sharks in general. It will make you a more educated and humble human being. Getting to know great whites is a deeply rewarding experience. There are many things out there greater than us and the great white shark surely is one of them.